Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, I made a sweet little talking tool here that I want to show you. You can get the full source code and everything on itch.io if you're a Patreon subscriber. But let's go through the main parts, which is going to be how I picked up the audio and figured out how to record it. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so I have the project here in front of me and basically I have a very simple setup. We're going to check out the object avatar because this is everything that's actually required to get the audio recording. Now I do have a bunch of stuff in here and I'm just not going to be covering it because it's not really part of the video that I'm going to show you. But to get the audio recording, we're going to need a few things. Right here in the settings, I have a capture volume. So this is going to be the threshold because whenever we are recording something, basically we will have a number from zero to something in the thousands. And if we set the number too low, it's going to pick up a whole bunch of static. So you'll want to make sure that you have a threshold if you're going to be recording audio. The other thing with Game Maker Studio is if we come down here, we have a microphone current and maximum number. In Game Maker Studio, there's a number of different audio recorders and you need to make sure that you are on the right one. So I'm using a maximum count here and this is a function that Game Maker comes with. And basically you can get all of the microphones with these two values. So you'll wanna make sure that you get the maximum count. And then if I bring up my UI, because that's actually where I have the count of the microphones here, you can see I have an array of listing. And then inside here, I'm gonna maximize this. We basically loop through the number of different recording values that we can have. And then we display the name in a list. And if I was to actually run this, and I will in a second, you will just have a list of audio recorders. One may be your microphone. Another will be like an internal loopback and so on. But switching back over, if we go back to the avatar itself, once we have the number of microphones, what we can do is we could just call this little function here called a audio start recording, and we pass in the current microphone. This will return a real value, which is going to be the channel index, and we need to make sure we compare this channel index to an asynchronous value in the back end, and we'll get to that in one second. The other thing that we need to do is this audio buffer create. Now, I'm not a mathematician or anything like that. I don't really know too much about buffers right now, but basically just with some research, I came up with this number and you just need a buffer large enough to hold whatever you are going to be recording. And once this is recording, all events are going to be fired in an asynchronous event for audio recording. So if you come down here and we add an event, you can see there's asynchronous and then you can have audio playback, but we are audio recording here. Now inside this audio recording, this looks like a mess, but it's not really super difficult. We basically get the channel that's coming back through the DS list. We can pair it to make sure that the channel is correct. Then we get the length of the data because we need this in order to copy whatever is in the audio buffer to our own audio buffer so then we can seek through it. And then to get the volume, what I did here is I just went by the length. So that's gonna be how many bytes we received divided by 16. And then for each of those 16 bytes, I just received the volume and I make sure it's an absolute value. Now, remember I said this returns a number from zero to something in the thousands. So that's why I have this volume range here. So basically anything under a specific range will not be captured. So if I actually run my program right now, you can see that I have a pink background and that, that's really just for OBS. But if I hit escape, you can see these are all the settings that I talked about. So we have a number of different microphones on my computer. You can see I have my Yeti that I'm using. I'm not selecting my uh, headset here. I also have some virtual stuff. And then I have my uh, webcam as well. And then I have some sliders here. So this is going to be the threshold. If I set this to something really high, I'm going to have to talk extremely loud in order for it to pick up. But if I set it to something really low, you can see that it's picking up the static. So I'll set it to say like 300. Now, the one thing that I did, and you can see this in the source code, is you could have different movements that, based on what you want it to do. So for example, whenever I talk the mouse, or sorry, the mouth movement Y is gonna be randomized by zero and 16. So I could make this go upwards instead. If I want to, it just looks really funny. And then we also have the scale. So I'm using the Y scale here. I could say, uh, make it in between two and six for a mouth to be really long. 
So again, these are all just the different values. And then I have something lurping to say how fast things are going back and forth. So this entire project, you can basically pick up on itch.io. And like I said, uh, there's really not much to it. Um, the entire code is pretty much right here. This is how we record and how we check the volume. This is just a short video. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and a special shout out to the following users on Patreon. Victor, Paul, Gamer Community, David, Ken, Ashby, Mary, and Robert. Once again, thanks for watching the video. It would mean a lot to me to show me some love by clicking that like button. I'll see you in the next video.